So welcome to How to Mac a Bow. And we're going to have some fun doing some desktop acrobatics. The first thing is three fingers forward. We'll reduce it. Add a desktop. Remove a desktop. And now we can see that is three fingers forward again or three fingers backwards depending how you set your mouse. Dragging from one desktop to another in reduced mode. Now this terrible dashboard which everybody seems to hate and nobody uses with these vista like widgets as you have seen I have just dragged it from that easily miss accessed place to the left and dragged it to the very right of all my multiple desktops. This is because the first de desktop at start on the Mac or Macbook is always the furthest to the left and this dashboard is normally directly left of that. Therefore far to the right is better. So you will notice that I've also dragged the dashboard now in between the desktops. This can also be done. I don't use it so I drag it far to the right. So I think that that is the best position for me but you can put it in between if you wish. I stick it to the right and remove and add desktops as needed. So the next thing is here with two fingers spreading outwards you can enlarge the page be it a PDF or a web page. This is Safari. I just use two fingers to pinch together and that reduces tabs. So if you have multiple tabs open in Safari, you pinch two together and pinch them outwards again. Your forefinger and thumb is the easiest on the trackpad. This gesture will... That's I'm using three fingers sliding to the left. No, I'm using two fingers. Three fingers will change desktops, will swipe desktops. So you can actually reduce the tabs within the Safari browser and use two fingers to scroll them from side to side. That was three fingers what I just did. You saw half a desktop entering. That's three fingers left to right on the trackpad. You can see half of each desktop. To scroll the tabs, the windows in the tabs in Safari, you would use two fingers. So you can shuffle the desktops about as you like. You can open the window in one desktop and when it's open in reduced mode, drag it into another desktop. It's very easy.